finally coming to the table on COVID relief, her response was simple, a new president. We've known for months that Speaker Pelosi was holding the American people hostage for political gain. I've said it, my colleagues have said it. While Americans suffered under unscientific, foolish lockdowns, Pelosi withheld relief for political purposes, not policy purposes, but political purposes. But we now have a full admission. She said the quiet part out loud. This was never about what was best for the American people, never about honest policy disagreement. It was about preventing President Trump from getting any credit. It was about politics. Speaker Pelosi made a simple calculation. She bet that if she could keep Congress from reaching a deal on COVID relief, that would hurt President Trump and Republicans and give her more power. Even when members of her own party asked her to bring common sense, standalone, bipartisan relief measures to the House floor that would easily become law, she refused. She would say over and over again that nothing is better than something. And she was being honest. She honestly believed that nothing was better than something, but better for who? Not for the American people, that's for sure. She believed that nothing was better than something for her and her party. It's hard to imagine a more awful and heartless strategy. And what's worse, Speaker Pelosi does all of this while people in her home state suffer from unscientific, unconstitutional lockdowns that Democrat leaders in California are forcing upon their citizens. These lockdowns are not based in science. They never have been. Study after study shows that they yield little, if any, benefits, but they impose extreme costs on the small businesses suffering under them. You know what else? The Democrat leaders making these executive orders, they know this too, because they're violating their own guidelines. The Speaker of the House couldn't even let a pesky little lockdown get in the way of a haircut appointment. 